the ability to do nothing as I describe it, you know, to just simply leave the horse alone, the ability to simply be connected to the horse and stay out of his way um, is something I'm strongly teaching to this day. Um, I mean, I have many a lesson that I'll say to a rider of any level, it might be a Grand Prix rider, I would say, I just want you to have a passive contact and show me that you can do absolutely nothing. And particularly for a lot of dressage riders that don't have a really good background, that's a huge thing to just, as I say, shut up and do nothing. Um, and, you know, the, that, all of that, I think made me the dressage rider that I became and made me not unique, but definitely put me in a certain direction in the dressage world that a lot of people don't go. I think so. Yeah, he was, he was Mrs. Whitehurst. She raised him and he was actually hers. And that was also a bit accidental. We went to an event together. Um, she was riding seldom seen and I was riding a couple of her other horses and she got the flu. And while we were there and she said, well, I can't ride, you ride him. So I rode him, it was sort of novice something. And uh, we won and she thought that was cool. So she had me continue. And uh, again, he was small and the next year she decided she didn't want him to go on an eventing. So she said, why don't we play with the dressage? And uh, no real plan, but we were at a dressage show and Hilda Gurney was a judge. You know who Hilda is? No. Well, Hilda was my idol. She's, she's a little older than I am. So she's probably mid later seventies. Um, and she was on the 19, 76 Olympic team that got a bronze medal and but she rode an American thoroughbred uh, and was one of our Olympics she was been on two Olympic teams and and uh, was pretty remarkable she's also very outspoken um, fabulous woman anyway she was the judge and you know you have this little dinner Saturday night dinner between the two days of the competition and we were sitting there and she came over to Peggy and sort of leaned over and put her face in her face as only Hilda could do and kind of shook her finger at her and said, if you don't let Lyndon take that pony to Grand Prix, I want him. And that <laughs> sort of put the bug in Peggy's ear that maybe we should go on. And again, it was just one year at a time, never knowing if it was going to be something special. But he was the first horse I myself trained at Grand Prix. You know, he was the first horse I did everything. I mean, I started him as a training level horse and, and uh, and he was a remarkable, remarkable horse and so forgiving, so kind, a little lazy. Um, but, you know, if I don't know about now, people now, I don't even think they know I ride. But uh, back in the day, I, I certainly was better known as the rider of seldom seen than I was as a two time Olympian. You know, <laughs> uh, that, that was that was my claim to fame was was being seldom seen's rider. So yes, he was, I mean, I had some wonderful, marvelous horses in my life, but he definitely was, was probably at the top of the list. Well, I mean, we have from, from the, I have the winter program that's going on right now, which is three months. I have the same group of kids. I have 12 kids for three months. And uh, we do a lot of on the ground stuff. I mean, we start out and, and even with the clinics that I do, maybe just a two day clinic, um, at the beginning of every lesson, you know, what are your plans? What's your long-term goal? What's our goal for today? They come in the second day, you know, what are you bringing forth from yesterday? I mean, I, I'm always talking like that. And there's always a little bit at the end of, of, of what are you gonna remember from this? Uh, what are you bringing back tomorrow? They're, they're all, the winter program, they're required to keep a journal. We have, we have Catherine's journals. You know, I'm huge on, on keeping journals, making notes. I'm huge on goals. I'm huge on, you don't go in the ring. You don't get on a horse without a plan. You know, the plan could be, I'm going for a walk in the woods and daydream, um, or I'm going to go and, you know, try to accomplish this by doing this, this, and this. I'm, I'm a bit of a fanatic about, about that. 